In this video tutorial, I want to talk about the Space Frame tool, uh, the Space Trust Structure 1, which you can find in the uh, launch box menu and in the structure and Space Trust 1. So basically, this tool can produce a, um, a truss uh, from a surface. So I can just turn everything off and you can see that I can produce a truss structure on a surface, we can change the number of the curves, uh, divisions on the surface, and we can also change the height of the truss. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use this tool to produce a more de de a detailed structure. As you can see here, I'm going to explain how we can uh, produce the pipes, the knots, and the connection between the pipes and the knots so it can be a more detailed uh, structure. So this is the video tutorial about the Space uh, Trust Structure tool. Okay, to start from scratch, uh, we can uh, go into the Rhino interface. I'm going to produce a surface here. So let's just assume we have a rectangle surface here. I'm going to rebuild this to more point counts. And now I'm going to use the soft edit surface tool. You can use this tool if you want to deform a surface. So I'm going to give this soft edit surface. We can change the distance of the deformation here. And you can even give uh, different distan distance on the UV uh, count. So I'm going to give this a simple uh, move here and you can see. So we want to make a space structure on this freeform surface. And now we can go to the Grasshopper interface. We can use the surface tool from the arms menu. And let's just see the bifocals tool and set this to the surface. Now I'm going to turn this off. The next step is to go to the launch box and use the structure tool. We can produce different structures, but for now we're going to use the space trust structure one. So I'm going to use this and give the surface to it. And you can see that it has a UV division. I can give it a maybe eight on the U and V. And you can see that if when I change the UV divisions, the number of divisions of the frames uh, on the first surface, which is actually the main surface, is going to change. Uh, what happens next is that this tool will offset the surface based on your truss depth. So uh, you can give this a number two. So I'm going to give this a number. And you can see that this will change the height of the truss. So you can see it here too. And this is basically an offset and using a grid division to produce the upper uh, part of the structure. And now we can have the structure drawn. Okay, so the next part is to work on the output of the space, tr uh, uh, space trust structure one. Uh, first, you can see that if I give a pipe here to the primary lines, you can see that it's the first layer of the space truss. Uh, and because we gave it a surface, it's this, uh, the grid which we have on the surface. The next will be the primary lines of the offset of that surface, you can see here. And at the end, we have the web lines, which connect the first grid to the second grid, and we can use that. We also have uh, structure nodes, so you can go to the surface and use a simple sphere here to make a sphere on those no uh, structure nodes and you can give it a radius so I can change this and simply have spheres on this. Okay, so I'm going to uh, use all of these layers into one simple curve so we all have this in the curve tool and if we give this a pipe we have the problem of uh, let's assume that the radius is maybe smaller than one. And let's change this. Okay. 
let's bake this to a layer and the next one to the next layer and you can see that there's a problem here and uh, that's the connection of the lines and the uh, knots you can see that the pipes are going entirely into the spheres and we're going to just have a small tutorial of how we can detail the connection so uh, I'm going to talk more on this in the Grasshopper course but for those who want to just learn it from this tutorial let's get started okay going to delete this pipe and what we need is uh, let's assume that this line we need a smaller line here to draw the pipes so I'm going to make a smaller line from the base lines and then we're going to draw a, uh, a cone from the base of the pipe to the center or the knots and then we can just difference the cone from the sphere and have the connection so uh, when we want to just calculate uh, exact distance between these lines we can go to the uh, evaluate tool and use the evaluate length okay eval length and if you uh, connect a number to this you can see if I give it a 2.56 it goes nothing and that is because uh, evaluate length use a normalized uh, tool it's a 0 to 1 and when it's true you only can give from 0 to 1 so if it's normalized which we don't want now it's from the 0 to the 1 here and we can just go to the normalized and set this to false because we want to just exactly define the distance from the knots so I'm going to give this a false and give this a number okay so you can see that those lines will just be calculated from the end of that or the knots and we can just define this okay we need another point here from the end so this is a 4.1 from the start and we need a 4.1 from the end so I'm going to use a flip curve, uh, curve tool flip curve and give this to the curve and now we can just again evaluate the that uh, flipped curve from the simple 4.1 length and you can see that this will make a uh, distance from the start till the end you can easily change this okay now we can just turn this off and we have the points to connect those uh, and have the lines. so I'm going to go to the line to the curve and use the line tool and connect those two set of points and here we go so here is the technique you can use to uh, calculate the distance from the knots okay we can just increase this so we're going to make these lines to pipes pipe give this a radius maybe a 1.1 radius here okay so uh, this is the pipe and what we need here is the cone so basically we we want a cone sitting on this circle and coming to the end or maybe something like this so it's going to be simple uh, we're going to go to the surface tool to the primitive and here we have the cone tool I'll just simply type cone okay uh, we need a base for the cone because it's in uh, the 3d space the cone will be uh, sitting on any plane or the C plane so I'm going to use a perpendicular frame tool uh, we talked about the perpendicular frames in a video you can check that out but a perpendicular frame will give you a simple uh, single frame from this line and I'm going to give this a zero so it's going to be at the start of this line okay you can see that we have a uh, plane or a, a C plane on the frame uh, on the line and now we can give this for the cone the radius of the cone will be the radius of the pipe so it's going to sit on that and the length will be basically the length we just calculated on the evaluate length tool 
now we can give this to the length and you can see that the cones are going inside so I'm going to right click on the length expression and minus X give this out and turn the perpendicular frame off and here you see that the start of that pipe will be okay we can change the distance and for the end of the pipe we can just simply copy paste Control C, Control V, and give this uh, parameter to one because we want the end of that. Okay, we want the end, and now the pipe is again the cone is inside. So I'm going to take off that minus X, and here we go. That's it. That's the pipe, the cones, and that's the spheres. So we can simply produce a detailed uh, information on our structure you can see easily how I'm just producing this you can also go to the intersect tool and use the, the um, solid difference but it's going to take some time so I'm going to difference from the cone the sphere and here we go we can have a detailed a more detailed from this you can see that it's going to produce that and another one from this cone and from the sphere okay and now I'm going to uh, maybe bake these in layer 1 bake the sphere in layer 2 and bake the pipe in layer 3 and have the details drawn okay so here we go you can see that it's easily uh, producing some detail we can go further on we can have uh, something like this we have a pipe here okay and then we had uh, the cone but let's assume that the cone is just going to end more near that surface and then we can extrude this to have a maybe die here something like that and then we can just say that it sits on it because we have a bolt in this that goes uh, into that uh, marrow connection and you can see that we can make details with grasshopper but this was a simple tutorial you can work on that uh, the next step which you can extrude the circle on that but you can see we have the details we can just turn this off okay and see that it's the details and here we go and we can also use this to calculate the degrees of the connection and optimize that for further uh, planning or whatever we want for drawings or shopping okay so uh, we can also delete this because okay let's just turn these off uh, because the solid difference is going to be a little bit of a time here because if you go to the display canvas widget and profiler you can see it just took two minutes two seconds to calculate that but you can just uh, turn these off and change your division okay we can have a simple division one and we can just go take this up maybe we just need a simple structure here we can increase the radius okay let's just change the distance of the line and let's increase the sphere let's increase the pipe okay and let's increase that and we have another simple connection so I'm going to bake these and you can see that that will be something like a pyramid here okay so this is the connection and we can make that for by simply difference of the solid difference between the sphere and the cone so uh, this tutorial was just basically uh, of how you can okay let's just turn this back to the surface we can uh, change the division and take this down and change the numbers uh, you can also 
check this uh, algorithm on the other structure tools of the lunchbox and the grid structures on the uh, hexagonal structures or the space trust structure uh, I will talk about this uh, on the next tutorials okay thank you for watching if you have any questions uh, or any comments feel free to put underneath this video and thank you for subscribing to this channel I will try to answer your questions and based on the commands I uh, pick up and uh, take the videos and thank you for watching